Let's go. Boom! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. Today on the show, we've got a 1971 Volkswagen Westfalia Riviera camper van. Volkswagen camper van. For the first time here on the channel, we're going to do a Volkswagen camper van. Let's get into it right now. Man, if I only had my shotgun right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So this Westphalia actually belongs to my friend Kaylin of Battleborn. Hi. Kaylin, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to the channel for the first time. We are here actually right outside Battleborn slash Dragonfly. Right there. See that Dragonfly? So uh, Kaylin, she's a camper van chick. Check that out. Tell us about this. What is it exactly? Because I called it a couple of different things. Yeah, so it's a 1971 Volkswagen camper van. Um, it's actually, I personally got it from Washington, drove it all the way back down to Reno. It's been one of my dreams to have a Volkswagen yeah. bus. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these. These are so cool. Yeah, it's super cool. It's one of those things that you just have to have. Like it's one of those old school cars yeah. that a lot of people don't have, but once you see one, once you get one, you see you have them everywhere so yeah. and you see why it's so cool <laughs> yes absolutely yeah. but yeah so it's a 1971 Volkswagen camper van um, got it in Washington drove it back down to Reno uh, quite the journey on highway one trying to get this thing up those yeah, roads how fast does it go <laughs> <laughs> so it actually has the capability of going 75 miles an hour really yes they uh, okay. they revamped the motor and took out the fuel injection put dual carburetors in oh, there okay. to make it go that fast. Personally, yeah. I don't drive it that fast because I feel like it's going to break. Right. Um, and it's, it's not power steering. <laughs> no, no power steering. So you can only imagine yeah. with these little Did arms they... I have trying to t turn this big old steering yeah. wheel around Did they and try to get over. The brakes? <laughs> uh, yeah, the brakes were great. So oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, the brakes oh. work really good. I uh, haven't really had to slam on them too much. So we're good. Yeah. We're doing good. And it's a pop top, so yes. that's one thing I forgot to mention here in the intro. It is a pop top. So what is it? Is it a Westphalia? Is it a, you know, I mean, definitely it's a Volkswagen. Yeah. What is the thing there? Is it a Westphalia or Riviera? I see there's Riviera on the pop top. So, so from my understanding is it is a Westphalia. Mm -hmm. The Riviera, Riviera for the pop top mm -hmm. actually was aftermarket. Okay. Um, so from my understanding, they refurbished it and put the Riviera pop top on there instead okay. of the Westphalia. Cool. And so you've got your spare up here. Yes. And I think that's the Westphalia logo on it, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so, yes. Yeah. Uh, so you've got that up here. And uh, there's no engine or anything up here. I think what it might be like a fan or something. Yeah, there's, there. a, there's like a vent up here. So yeah. what happens is when you open up the vents on the front side because there's no AC in these. Mm -hmm. So this is where you're letting all your air in from mm -hmm. your vents. So when you want air conditioning, you right. just open up the vents and all the, air is coming up, <laughs> all the air is coming up from the front. Cool. Um, you still got the, I don't know if that's the original antenna, but uh, I it's going it strong. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Mirrors, you got side markers. These look like the original wheels, yeah. probably. A lot of stuff on here is pretty original. Yeah. Um, there's some things that you can see that's aftermarket, like the pop top, but mm -hmm. for the most part, uh, my understanding, it's all original from yeah. Volkswagen. And you're running the motor right now. Yes. Can we actually, can we open up that motor panel? Yeah. We'll do the stuff on the outside. So this is gas, right? Yeah, it's gas. Oh, let me close that. Okay, so this is gas. Here's your fill up. Right here. Yep. Like, it's, uh, it sounds good. Yeah, so this is where the motor is at down here. This uh, is actually the original uh, motor. They just adjusted the dual carburetor. Oh, okay. It sounds pretty good. Seems like it's running well. 
know, and there, there's the Volkswagen. Of course, you got the P sign on it. And uh, Westport, I don't know, that's, I don't know where that's. Westport someplace. Westport's in uh, Washington, actually, where, oh, I got the, where I got the bus from. Yeah. Okay, was it called Coasty when you got it? Yeah, so it was originally called Coasty. I actually have the license plates inside from the original Oh, orders. okay, so you just got Nevada Coasty plate. Yep, kept the name the same, okay. kept it in the family. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just adjusted it to the Nevada plates instead of Washington. Yeah, let's go around here. Let's look at... Uh, I like you got a bunch of stickers on here. Yeah, so these stickers uh -huh. actually, um, a lot of them are from the original owners. So wherever they've been, or where at least where the coasty has been, they uh, put these stickers so on there. So it's been to Denmark. Yeah, so it's been to Denmark. Oh, cool. Um, and then I've just been adding stickers myself from where I've been. Uh -huh. So I have like Oregon Coast. I have a bunch of other stickers that I have to add on here as oh, well. Oh, sweet. But, okay. Um, I'm just gonna keep stickering stickers. out this window. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So that piece of wood in the back there was that originally here? Do you know? I don't understand. I don't know if it was. It looks like it wasn't um, originally, but I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. If it okay, was I'm not. sure someone will tell us. On yeah, this video. I'm sure they will too. <laughs> so I see here water. Here's yes. your water. Little. I don't know. Does this work? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yep. That's the water, so you can fill it up. Uh, what kind of vent is this? So this is actually. I have a little uh, 30 amp short power plug right oh, here. Oh, so that, oh. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, That's cool. Hold on, let ready. me see. Let me make sure I'm capturing that. Uh, there you go. So you guys can see that. That's weird. I yeah. guess that's to keep the water from, uh, water will pour off it or something. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and city water. Yes. Hook up here. Have you ever used that? Nope. <laughs> I haven't. Okay. Haven't done too much. Dock, right? Yes, I only okay. boondock typically. Yeah. And you use this? Yes, I do. It's not just for show. No. <laughs> All right, cool. And then uh, what is this? Uh, Coleman. So you have a do you have a Coleman heater in here? Is that what this is? I, or maybe it used to be. It might have been. I have no idea. Right. But <laughs> there might have been something in there that I just don't know if there was something going on for the heater. Or yeah. whatnot. From my understanding, there isn't a heater in here, but there could be. I just don't know about it. So. Okay, cool. All right, <laughs> we're gonna flip around and go to the other side. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the driver's seat here. We go in. All right. Okay. So tell us about this. What's this like uh, driving this? Um, it's pretty. It's pretty rough. I mean, it drives really smooth, but for no power steering and in this day and age where you only have power steering it's a lot different going back to an older vehicle that doesn't have power steering so it's a little bit different plus it's manual so i've yeah, grown up driving go. manual my whole life yeah uh, but so, and here's the how many miles on it 81,000 81, okay and actual levers, what are those levers for? For heat and stuff? Yep, heat, and then these are the, the vents. So, okay. like if I want air in here, you just pull this down, Yeah. and then air will come out of this yeah. these vents here. I know this car is older than you, but I bet you <laughs> that stereo over there is older than you, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> um, and then I see you've got some like vents in the doors. <laughs> yep, yeah, some That's more cool. airflow in here. Airflow. <laughs> so you don't get carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. So have you always been like a classic car kind of person? Uh, yeah, I've grown up around classic cars pretty much since I was little. My family's huge on owning older cars, older vehicles, trucks, cars. We like to fix them up mm -hmm. typically. Um, when I was growing up, I had an international scout. Um, and that thing's a gas guzzler, so I had to get rid of that thing. Um, but yeah, it's just been my dream, and I still want to get a Ford Bronco mm -hmm. later on, and then a 69 Mustang at some point, too. Okay, what's the fuel efficiency of this, do you know? Uh, not very good. No? I have no idea what it is, but oh. it's not that good. Okay. <laughs> Especially when you're going on hills, it's probably, I don't know, you're probably getting like 12 miles to the gallon oh, at wow. that, yeah. <laughs> it's not a big motor. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's check cool. it out. Let's, Let's go inside. see the camper van part of this. All right. All right, right behind you. So this is the camper van side of things. All right. So um, where do we want to start here? Let's start from uh, let's start from the kitchen. Okay. You got the uh, the V dub. Yep. So we have this right is here. all original build here too. Mm -hmm. This was a fridge. Originally, they oh, it was you took that out. They took it out. Okay. The original owners took it out and put a porta potty in here. Yeah, so cassette style toilet yep. there. 
And then uh, what's in these cupboards? Uh, listen, so Kaylin uses this, so don't judge her. <laughs> don't be judgy. This is so, actually being used. You know, zip ties. You never know uh -huh. when you're gonna need those. Yep. Lighter. Truth. Flashlight. Uh -huh. Yep. Got Good. it all. We got some extension cords, toilet nice. paper, <laughs> all that jazz, uh -huh. and then some just plastic bags. You know, okay, when cool. you might yeah, need for that. Yeah, garbage and yep. stuff. All right. And is that sink? Is the sink working? So it is supposed to work. Um, we've been trying to figure it out for a while. It just doesn't seem. I think okay. in the original, because it's a twelve, it's a twelve volt pump. So it's the pump water. So you have to pump okay. it actually. But mm -hmm. oh. um, I think originally it was hooked up to the starter battery, and the starter okay. battery wasn't. Um, as efficient, I guess. So we just put a new Battleborn system in there. So I just have to rewire it now so that that pump will actually work. Okay. Um, but we've put water in it. We just can't get it to work right now. So we're working okay. on that. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we're looking at. What's this right here? This is a, it's called a Traeger Scout. It's a mini Traeger. It's a smoker. Um, it's more, these actually come with backpacks. They're about 40 pounds, so you can take them. Mm -hmm pretty much camping wherever you want. Um, it's just a mini version of the bigger Traeger, so okay. it makes it a little bit more portable to take it with me. All right, very cool. What do you smoke in here? Um, I, the last trip I took, I smoked hamburgers and a tri-tip. Okay, I noticed you're not opening it. No, it's probably pretty dirty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's used. It's used. So you enjoy something like that when you guys when you go out camping. Yeah, typically. So yeah. I'm a huge cook. I like to cook a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so when I go camping, I make sure I have a crap ton of food, okay. and it's always good food. <laughs> I always awesome. make sure it's like the top notch food. So when you have this, you can smoke some meat and sit out there and fish and do whatever you need to do for that time being. Very nice. I like that. Cool. Okay, is there storage behind here behind this seat? Yes. Yeah, so there's behind actually a little cabinet under here. What's in this case? This is just a whole set of tools that I have. Oh, so you fix your own stuff? Uh, try to. Okay. I attempt to. Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, so this is under storage here. Oh, all right. um, oh look, Battleborns. <laughs> so what do you have, 200 amps in here? Yep, or more? 200 amp hours. Okay. Don't mind the dog food over there, but. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, uh, then I have just my little 12, 120 volt jumper. jumper pack just okay. in case, some Call propane. Tanks, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so typically there's a lot more storage down here what I use it for but mm -hmm. now that there's batteries in there You okay. don't really have too much storage. Yeah, that's cool. That and spot. so is that another cabinet right here? Yep. Yeah, this is just another oh, cabinet. This is we a have... lot more space in here than I thought even you got outlets. <laughs> yeah, there's those outlets do work too. Okay um, And then we have like the water pump here. So, so all these everywhere. outlets are hooked up to your system. Yeah, they're currently hooked up to my system now. Oh Cool. All right, and then how does this uh, turn down into a bed? Yeah. We're, we're gonna get to your Battleborn system cool. here in a second. So this is how, so how you. Does, how do we do this? Let's convert see. this. So you just. And I it. like this is. I don't know if this is a tartan style thing, but this is probably original. If this is original, yeah. yeah. you can tell, it's all rough here, but mm -hmm. this is all original. So you just pull this little lever down here, and then it just pops Boom, into the back. It goes back. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Just like that. Yeah, it's pretty big. You've got another cabinet back there. It looks like. Yep, that's usually where my food and everything goes back there. What's this up here, this shelf? That's uh, actually a table. So there's oh. a table up there, and then this cushion down here mm -hmm. actually comes up here. Oh, okay. this is a so bed this as is well. A bed. Okay, so yeah, the pop top, obviously. Check it out. A lot of room up here. Yeah. A lot of room. It's pretty cozy. Here, show the folks what's up there, and I'll, and I'll climb in. All right. There's only so much room in here. Okay, can I step on this? Yep. Okay, <laughs> okay so I could stand up in here. Once you have this pop top up, you can stand up in here. So you can sleep a whole other person, and yep. then that cover goes here over this. Yeah, just to make so it. So you have a, more room? Ex yep, exactly. Oh, just that's an cool. extended bed. How is it with this pop top? Like a lot of wind? Um, yeah, typically there's a lot of wind uh -huh. um, in the pop up when it's open. Um, it's pretty cozy though. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing is, I mean, when I'm driving with it, it's obviously down, but mm -hmm. these things in general, they're super, they're pretty lightweight. Uh -huh. So when there is wind, it you're all over around. the red. <laughs> yeah, so it you're. Becomes, yeah, it's like a sail. Exactly. I'm sure it's better. Like, obviously, like you said, you're not driving no. with it up. But so when you have this up and the wind is going, is it moving the van around? Um, a little bit, yeah. It's okay. not, if it's pretty, if it's super windy, we usually don't put it up. Okay. Um, I usually keep it down. And mm -hmm. if there's another person with me, we're just usually sleeping in here. Do um, you have any leaks? No. 
Okay. They re they redid all the seals and everything, okay. so I don't have any leaks. I mean, okay. this has a screen on it, so like if it was raining, you would there would be leaks on there. But oh, okay. Um, yeah. Cool. I like it. Does that dome light up there work? Um, I think it does. Oh, maybe not. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> that might not be wired into yeah. that. But there's a lot of stuff you could do now. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, it's on you now. got it on. Yep. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the system. I don't know what other um, upgrades you're doing, but you obviously you did the Battleborn upgrade. Yeah. So we did the Battleborn upgrade with uh, Victron components. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Victron's a Netherlands-based company. Um, they make inverters, solar charge controllers, DC to DC chargers, and everything like that. Um, with my system, since I don't usually hook up to shore power or anything, an inverter was just an easier way for me to go. Um, so you went with a 1200. Yeah, but I just went with a 1200. That's actually the biggest that they make um, mm -hmm. in 12 volt. But mm -hmm. with what I power in this rig, it's not very much. So mm -hmm. the 1200 was perfect. Okay, it looks like, is that a solar charger there, Blue Smart? This, uh, the edge of it, oh, right, right here. Yeah. yeah, this is actually an IP65 charger. Okay. So this has like alligator clamps oh, um, and also just regular eyelet chargers that are already hooked mm -hmm. up to my batteries. So when I am at home or anything and I need to charge them, mm -hmm. uh, I just plug it into the wall or whatnot or just an okay. extension cord to charge those batteries up. Okay. Um, and then I have a DC to DC charger. Yep. in there so here you just need one <clears throat> yeah so with the Volkswagens I mean this alternator here is about 50 amps mm -hmm. so I went with an 18 so I'm not pulling too much off that alternator to damage it but then we just have a uh, smart shunt as well from Victron just to monitor mm -hmm. um, via Bluetooth through my app Victron connect and I just see what's going on with my batteries while I'm driving right and then is that a fuse box over there <clears throat> Over here. See your shut off? Yeah, so the fuse block, uh, this is a negative bus bar here, and then we just have the the little DC outlets okay. going there, and then we have just a cutoff switch. So because of the pop top here, you don't have solar panels, right? No, so okay. if you actually look mm -hmm. on, oh, I'm gonna have to pull it down, but on the roof itself, there's just rigids in there. Okay. Um, so solar panel, I can't put any on there right now. Um, with that on there because if I did one I'd do flexible panels right. and they would end up blowing off probably with how much air would get underneath that okay um, so eventually I'll probably put a roof rack up there um, and then put some solar panels yeah, that would be there. cool yeah I think we were talking about that yesterday yeah we were talking about that yeah. yesterday or you know you can just have um, like solar panels you can plug up to it. yeah yeah and they have the little suitcase solar panels too that I can throw out when I get to a spot as well yeah um, but with the DC to DC charger I'm personally not pulling too much off my batteries right. so the DC to DC charger yeah. charges them not using good. too much power no you. let's close this up it's starting to drizzle a little bit unless you've got some other stuff to tell me we could probably wrap it up uh, I think it would be cool I know we were talking about that it would be cool because you're into surfing yep and you could put if you put up surfboards up there you can make some surfboards that, are, that look panels. like solar panels. Yeah. yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be nice. uh, something that I could start working on. Unless someone out there knows how to make them. Right. <laughs> Let me know. I'm sure we can <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> All right, let's close it up here and wrap this up. All right, Kaylin, thanks so much for showing us uh, your camper van here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Good. Yeah. It's How long have you had this? Since May, uh, May this year, so not okay. too long, like six months. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what you what you do with this. Cool. Thank you. And uh, for folks who want to know, maybe there's someone who wants to do a, a battle boy conversion like yeah. yours. We'll have some links in here. And where else can folks go if they want to find out stuff uh, about this? You can go onto our website, battlebornbatteries.com. Uh, our phone number is on the website as well, or we have an email that you can email into. It's info at battlebornbatteries.com. There you go. I hope you guys like this. This is actually pretty cool. It's fun to see what uh, what Kaylin's uh, actually doing with it and still using it. Um, leave your comments and stuff like that. Maybe we'll get her to answer some comments. And if you know about how to make surfboards into solar panels, <laughs> let us know. Thanks, Kaylin. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Peace.